somebody wanted to know what my sexuality is, I would say it's a combination between this. This represents Drew Barrymore and everything she is. And, and, and this. Oh. And this tiger cup of hot liquid. This is my sexuality, if anybody's wondering. Kirsten's Agenda is the name of my show. It's a way to make art and learn stuff and grow. There will be lots of segments and maybe some guests. Ten minutes of deep breath, that is my quest. If while we're here, then our insides expand. To be more compassionate to our fellow man and woman and person. And remember, the truth is that kindness is cool. Have sex with my feelings and be in our minds and our hearts opening up is a really good place to start here's the jump it's almost time for that awkward holiday about that word that uh, we're all supposed to celebrate and if we're uh, with someone for four minutes or 400 years, we're supposed to celebrate it with great pomp and circumstance in the correct way that expresses love in the way that love is seen. And then if we're not, we're supposed to uh, be mad about the stupid holiday or be sad that we don't have someone. It's a weird holiday. And I have always been a person who has eschewed, am I using that word right, um, this, this holiday sometimes and then I embraced it and then I just because I love love once I figured out what love is and I am one of the people and there's a lot of people like this okay and I don't so I am one of the people who did not grow up understanding what love is and I'm not going to put that on anybody I'm going to tell you things but I'm not putting that on anybody I'm taking a responsibility that me, since a tiny baby <laughs> onward, um, certainly in my uh, single digit years and in my teenage years and maybe even in my 20s, no, and even now in my 40s, I uh, had a hard time with the word love. And there were certain people, people, close people in my family that I should be able to just, that you should be able to say, I love you and just trip off your tongue that I, I just couldn't I would say it but it came at a, like a cost it felt like I was giving something away of myself it, it was like words that I had to stand behind that I didn't really believe and I think it was because I was I think I was observing behavior in people or I, or I was feeling a certain way um and it wasn't in alignment and that's sort of a secret that I just told you but my first grade teacher told my mom when I was in first grade, that there are no secrets. My lisp just came out. I also had a lisp in first grade. Um, there are no secrets in my house. And um, it, it still feels like a secret, although I'm clearly telling people. Love is strange and wonderful and terrifying. And I am 48. And you are either my age or you're younger than me or older than me. You're one of those three things. And what I want to say about love is that I know what I know and I have my beliefs and I want to share them with you because it might save you some time to wonder about this. What if love is, and I have decided this is what love is. I love space. Everything has to do with space. I love planets and space and the idea space and the weird things that space does and Carl Sagan, and Neil deGrasse type. I love space. Um, what if love is space? And, and I'm, I am talking about space, but I'm talking about space. What if what love is, is that I can give you the ability to have as much room as you need to be exactly who you are? That if, if, if I'm told to love a part of myself that I find unlovable, what if that means just giving it space? Because that I can do. The idea of, of, of every single person just you know, absorbing them into my world and agreeing with them. No, 
Uh Uh-uh. And there's plenty of people that I can find their behavior reprehensible. I can find the choices that they're making unseemly. But that doesn't mean that that bit, that I can't give them space to be who they are and to have their experience. I want this Valentine's Day us to be the best Valentine's that we can to ourselves, to give ourselves so much space. I'm reminded of Gay Hendricks. I love Gay Hendricks. Look him up. He's the best. He says that any problem can be solved with love, movement, or breath. Uh, That's my hope that all of us give ourselves on this Valentine's Day, which is just another version of Wondernalia. Let's not forget that we give each other a lot of breath and space and (laughs) moving around. That's what I want. Question. Question. How can we be unique? I'll tell you how. This is a segment called Unique. By the way, I can't do unique New York, New York, New York. I can't do it. You just be yourself as normal as you possibly can. But if you're so internally yourself, then you are just you. And that's how it works. I don't wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to dress like a weirdo. It just happens because I like to delight myself. However, I, in this segment of unique, uh, I'm going to share with you some of my things that I think might make me at least look unique, but it's not really unique. It's just everything's replays just the way you do it. Um, So get you a friend that knows how to sew. Get a friend. If you are in college or high school, get a friend right now, keep them, and then make sure that they learn how to sew. Because then when you're in your 40s, they'll just start making you cool jackets because they know what kind of fashion you've been into since high school. Um, that's number one. Number two. Okay. This is a really good one. You guys, this is a sock. I really, I really like these socks. Okay. Kirsten, why, why is this happening? I'll explain. Why is that? Why is that like that? I'm going to explain to you why. Um, I am very, um, curvy everywhere. Uh, my calf muscles are curvy. Everything is curvy. So, um, these don't fit that great. They don't, the, the stripes, I don't like the way they look. However, look what I did. I just took a pair of scissors. Now what we have is a mini sock that I can wear whenever I want. But more importantly, and most importantly, I have these sleeveys. Come on, they're so cute. You might not think they're cute, but th- this this is about things that I like. Can you do it with nylons? Yes, you can. I'm planning on cutting these because I haven't worn these because it's just too much for the leg. This is a too much for the leg, but not too much for the arm. And then you can wear like a t-shirt and then this as a sleeve. Have we had, did we think about this before? Unique. Okay. This is a song about love and our ability to get it and have it and be it and do it. If you had a mirror, you could learn the song and then you could sing it to yourself in the mirror because that's what I'm going to do later. Hey, do you love you? No or yes? There isn't any wrong answers. I'm singing a song to you, not a test. But hey... I can give us both some evidence to show we are all worthy of lovability. And this is how I know you're on a planet, huh? And you breathe air, and that's enough to show there is love aglow inside of you somewhere reserved just for you, no matter what. And I suggest that you get access to it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I ended a song with buts. People think that's funny sometimes. Hey, but for reals, it's like RuPaul says about love and yourself. And if you don't know what RuPaul says about love and yourself, go look it up. That's your homework. 
go do it. Go do it. Go do it. Get access to it. I dropped my Beatles brooch because I was getting excited about love. 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 You are loved. You are loved. <laughs>